Number 15. The greatest ocean depths on Earth are found in the Marianas Trench near the Philippines. Uh, speaking about the Philippines, I uh, just want to give a shout out to Milky, who's one of our students, actually, who views our videos all the way from the Philippines. He's left a couple of comments on a couple of our videos, and uh, we appreciate your kind words, and we appreciate your viewership very much. Calculate the pressure due to the ocean at the bottom of this trench, given its depth is 11 kilometers, and assuming the density of seawater is constant all the way down. So basically located right here where the little star is, right? This is the, we're trying to find the pressure at this location. And it's essentially going to be a function, right? Of the total weight of all of this ocean water basically above you. All right. We have a nice little formula though that will help us out with it. And it tells us that the pressure at a particular point is equal to the depth, AKA the height of the column of fluid above you multiplied by the density of that particular fluid then multiplied by gravity. So the pressure is simply going to be the height. It told us 11 kilometers, but remember we need it in terms of meters. So this is just 11, whoops, 11,000 meters multiplied by the density of seawater. It's slightly more dense than regular water because of all the salt in it. So this is 1.025 times 10 to the third. And that's the value in kilogram per cubic meter. And then times gravity, so 9.8. Uh, you might have to, you don't necessarily have to remember all these densities. You're probably given them on the test. Most likely, I don't know, you'd have to ask your professor. Uh, but they can be found in the table of values in your particular textbook. So let's just do the calculation now. So this is 11,000 multiplied by 1.025 times 10 to the third times 9.8. And we get a value of approximately 1.10 times 10 raised to the eighth, it looks like, times 10 raised to the eighth. And that's in terms of Pascal. If you wanted to convert this into atmospheres, by all means you can. Just take this value, divide it by 1.01 .01 times 10 to the fifth. But it doesn't ask for it in any particular unit, so we should be fine. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. All right, appreciate your viewership very much, all of you out there. And uh, please uh, help us out, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next problem. Take care.